Good morning, guys. I'm just sitting here relaxing, which honestly, I don't do enough of this. But that's just because I'm a multitasker. I always have been. And I just can't help myself but to like go, go, go. So it's nice to just sit here. I made myself some coffee. This is the mug of choice. I would have had my daughter pick, but she's at work right now. Honestly, even contemplated sending her a picture of the mugs and then having her pick, and I thought, that might be too much. Mmm, so good. I've got the frosted sugar cookie as my creamer. Loxie's right here next to me in her bed. This morning I got up super early um, and decided I wanted to go to Walmart before it got, you know, really busy. So I got up, and that is going to be my video for today, which is my Walmart haul. I'm really excited because I found, and the Walmart haul will be up before this video, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got anyways, in case you don't, you didn't catch that video. But I have been looking for these mystery packs of Harry Potter wands. And I finally found them and I've been looking for them for about like three months now So and I honest I didn't even expect to find them. I wasn't even looking for them anymore either I just kind of like gave up on it Actually when my daughter and I went to Target in that that one vlog miss um, We searched for it then and didn't find it But other than that it just really wasn't like in my mind anymore So I picked up four hoping that you know in those four she gets Draco's wand Ron's wand. I know Ron is her favorite, so and I and she she's in love with Draco, so I know that like those two would be her favorite to get, but I'm sure she would want like Harry's wand as well and Hermione. So, we'll see what she gets. I'm going to actually wrap them and put them as Christmas presents, but I will show you guys again the the Walmart stuff here in a minute, but I'm just kind of sitting down for a quick second. I've already played the Santa Claus while I left to go to Walmart, and now I've got Home Alone on. Really, that Home Alone has been my choice of movie this year, and it was my choice of movie last year too. If you're new to my channel, uh, I run movies into the ground a lot. I might have traumatized some of you with how much I play Weekend at Bernie's. I know I traumatized my daughter because she's like, she's like, I can't, I can't. It's just hilarious. We laugh about it all the time. But also, if you're new, I just want to say I'm a single mom. I pretty much vlog by myself. Sometimes my daughter pops in and out of them. She's absolutely hilarious. Um, she loves you guys, by the way. She reads comments sometimes um, when she's sitting next to me and I'm going through them. And she thinks you guys are hilarious in the comments. So, and somebody sent her a birthday card in my P.O. box and she was so excited she was so excited. She was like, oh my god. It was the sweetest thing. Um, but anyways, yeah. We're, we're kind of like a, a real life version of Gilmore Girls, but without the hotel. And without me having like a Luke kind of thing. But I'm working on it. I do have a little process, a little routine. I get my laptop fired up. Um, I make sure that my battery, my camera is charging. And then I'll shower do my makeup and all that stuff and then i always like watch youtube while i while i do my makeup get caught up on my uh, favorite channels and then i film then i edit and then i usually come back to the vlog after that so i need to go ahead and get started just finished filming my video and i finished editing it it as well and it's currently uploading so i went ahead and got everything in this general area so that I could take you guys through the haul. I got this Peppa Pig. If you watch my other vlogs, I mentioned that. I ordered her two presents from Zulily, and those were gonna be her presents for Christmas, and then they never came. So luckily I had gone to Target, because I wasn't sure still at the time if I was gonna get my Zulily um, gifts or not. So I picked up one Christmas toy just in case, and then once I kind of confirmed I was not getting that order from Zulily for whatever reason they lost, I don't know. They just kept saying that it was late, it was preparing for shipment, and I ordered it weeks and weeks ago. So I just decided to cancel it and I picked her up this toy as well. 
So she has been watching Peppa Pig over here and it looks really cute. There's all of these little like things that she can do to move side to side. There's a cute little swing. Yeah, she'll definitely love playing with this. I also got a caulking gun, which I knew that I needed thanks to you guys. So I uh, got that to fix the trim molding in the kitchen. I'll show you guys the problem area. And I found finally the Harry Potter mystery wands at Walmart. I've been looking for these for months and months. The one thing I noticed though when I got home is that it says Professor Series. Obviously that's, that's not a bad thing, but I, but I was hoping that it was just like a general mystery series, meaning like I could find Harry or Hermione, Ron, Draco, all of that, but it is professors. So these are the options that could be in here. I'm hoping she at least gets Severus Snape, which by the way is my favorite character in Harry Potter. I love him. Um, she loves McGonagall. She loves all of them, to be honest. So I think she'll be excited we were actually looking for these when we went to target in that vlogmas that you guys saw and we didn't find them and then i found them at uh walmart okay sorry about that but i just got an alert that somebody rang the doorbell and there's a huge package so i don't even know what it is so anyways i'll go grab it in a second i want to finish this haul for you guys I got my daughter some lip balm. She has been asked, this was on her Christmas list, not this item specifically, but just lip balm in general. I liked this one because it has a little tint to it. It looks like it's good. It's a revitalizing lip balm and it has an SPF 20 in it. I also got her a lip scrub as if I had, haven't already gotten enough uh, stocking stuffers, but I guess I could not help myself. And I really like this sugar scrub for her. And I got her a beauty blender too. And I also picked this up, this different gel. I talked all about this in the haul. So if you want to go watch it, because I did ask some questions from you guys if you had like any information. But I've seen videos about this and I decided to get it for my daughter. Um, and we'll see like if her skin, how her skin deals with it or not. So Got that, and then I found a new Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. I'm obsessed. I smelled this on camera for the first time as first impressions, and it smells really amazing, and I'm not a floral person by any stretch of the means, but this Moroccan Rose smells beautiful. Then I also picked up my very first time Slow Cooker Liners. I also asked questions about this on my main channel, so I'll link it down below in case you want to go watch that. Um, and answer some of my questions, but this is BPA free, so I was happy about that. I also got these cute scrunchies with the bow detail. Very, very pretty. I'm hoping we can see something like this at Dollar Tree too. I think we have, like maybe from a satin perspective, and I think I have like a black one or something, but something like this will be really pretty too with like that material. And then I found this cable knit jumper. It has like a high, low thing to it absolutely love this color and this was 16 bucks and then no idea why i picked up more gift bags but i really liked these two this is the cutest little wintry snowy theme i've ever seen look at the fence with the bow so charming like a little country house in connecticut okay that, that's where this is connecticut um side is really cute very darling i thought that those two these were like right next to each other and like without looking at the cookie tag, I don't know, I just feel like they were designed together. And then over here, I got her this serum. I have this myself and she constantly comes into my bathroom to use it. So I thought, let me get it for her. And then I found some new hand soap. Honestly, the packaging is what caught my attention. And I'm gonna give these a try. We've got lemon zest and vet vetiver, vetiviver. I don't know how to say this. Uh, vegan and cruelty free, palm oil free, and then this one is sweet mint and eucalyptus. I I smelled both of these on camera. I really love this one. Um, so this one might be a return, but I'm gonna wash my hands with it and see like how I like it. And I also got a toner finally because I've just been putting it off because every time I pick up a toner, it has some form of alcohol in it. And this one caught my attention because alcohol free. 
and 98% natural distilled witch hazel. I finally got myself a toner and that is the Walmart haul. Here is the package that was outside my door and I could not believe that it got here. I, cause I, I thought I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know, somebody must have ordered something for me, but I ordered this off of Amazon and it's a ladder because we're gonna be redecorating some of this living room. And after so much contemplation and conversations with you guys needing help on what to do right here, I had one lady mention doing a lantern, which I loved that idea. I definitely have to do some sort of lantern feature, which I think I might do next to the TV, and I'm gonna relocate those maybe to the fireplace. So the moment that lady, if you're that lady that told me about the lantern, comment down below, but I'm thinking of doing them next to the um, TV and then I'll relocate that scroll above and then do something different here and then somebody else said do a blanket ladder and that will take up height and I was just like duh absolutely now I have a blanket I'm calling it a blanket ladder but it's like the wood ladders that you can put blankets on and stuff I have one but it's it was just too short it was underwhelming didn't really do much so I found one on Amazon but this one might be too short too. So let's just get it unboxed and see. But I am gonna not keep it there right now until until after Christmas. But for you and I, we're gonna go ahead and stage it just to kind of get an idea and make sure that it's the right height. So that way I can get it returned if I want something taller. I got a five foot one, so let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna get this moved, but immediately the first thing I notice about this ladder, so I'm not sure this is the color I picked, plus it's not very wide. Let me show you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's just, it's a little too thin. I have something that I wanna do to it um, that you guys will see when I when I decorate, and I just, I think this is a definitely a return, but from a height perspective, just look at looking at it from five feet, I really like the height. I think that is the right thing, um, especially since I think I'm gonna do lanterns there, and then I think I'm still gonna do some like greenery kind of thing. Um, so fortunately, I do feel like this is gonna be a return. I want something a little bit wider. There was another one that I almost bought on Amazon, it was a little bit more expensive by like $20, this was 60. So, um, so I think I'm gonna look at the other one and double check the measurements on that so that I don't waste my time because really all I looked at was the photo, obviously, and then the height, and I thought, you know, it would be pretty wide, but guess not, but that's okay. You know, there's free return, so that's why I love being an Amazon Prime member, but, I do, I do think that just seeing a blanket ladder over here is really the solution, but it's something a little bit wider and then I think we'll be good to go. Got my trusty Dollar Tree tape measure. So I wanna measure this one for reference. Let's see, can't really do this. Okay, this is 13 inches wide and the one that i'm looking at is going to be 19 inches wide so essentially just to show you guys the ladder i'm looking at is going to be this wide so i think it would be nice to just have like 17 inches 19 i don't know what do you guys think let me go back over here Let's actually measure this. Let's see. Okay. I know it's hard to see. I don't, you know what? I mean, I think 19 is actually pretty perfect. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order that one.
as you can see i've been wrapping presents and then i suddenly remembered there is something i got at dollar tree for my brother and i want to wrap it and i'll show you guys it's these little bolts right here Got the dishes going and I wanted to show you guys the part that I wanted to recall because you can see this section right here just about to there it's this little window part I want to redo I'm not gonna do it today cuz I'm not like mentally I'm not ready for this um, so I'm working my way up to it anyone else do that where you just it's something you're you've never done before you got to put it off for a minute until you're somehow just in a different mental state of mind for it. That's what I'm doing. So taking Loxy for a walk and I'm keeping my eye on alert on this walk because apparently we've ha we have a bobcat that's running around the neighborhood. So watching out for that plus I also forgot to tell you guys yesterday morning I it woke me up out of my sleep um, but it sounded like coyotes doing that howling thing again that you guys heard that one time on a vlog a few months back where it just sounded like they were killing something. It was just chaos. It just sounded like chaos. And I was just like, oh boy. Um, but isn't the sky so pretty? But yeah, just taking Loxie for a walk and just kind of scanning, because I'm just like, mm, I'm not trying to run in with a bobcat today. Look at this moon. That's just crazy. I wonder what it would be like to film this on the new iPhone 12. Loxie.